Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's let's talk about this because I think this is something that this is going to be a reoccurring fixture. Let me bring you up to speed, and in order to do that, it's important for me to sort of give you a back, a bit of backstory. Today we're talking about Andrew Ajimadu. Very few people know his real name, as is indicative of many false prophets. Many false prophets come under pseudonyms. They have all these different weird names, you know, Bovi, Kovi. They come up with, uh, you know, these strange odd names there's one that's just come in from nigeria he calls himself weissman or wise man these are not their real names these are names that they bestow upon themselves or names that have been conferred onto them and in many cases that is a red flag anytime you see someone that holds the bible and doesn't use his real name doesn't use her real name that's a red flag, you know, and, and you should pay attention to that. Don't think that that's something that, you know, that's based on the word of God, even though, you know, you can argue and say that, you know, Paul used to be Saul. Those are men of God that were tried and tested. Those are men of God that went through the calling of God. I'm not talking about these crooks and these vagabonds and these despots and bottom feeders that are nothing but opportunists. I'm not talking about them. And I'm not talking about the characters in the canon of scripture, in the inspired, unalterable, unchangeable word of God. I'm not referring, referring to them. I'm talking about these charlatans. Jesus said, they will deceive even the very elect. So that's the group I'm addressing. This Andrew Ajimadu, as many of you know, he's, uh, he came from Nigeria some years ago. And when he landed in Zambia, he looked at Zambians and saw how dense Zambians are. He could see, he says, you know, if you want to they believe mysticism. They believe anybody that stands up and holds the Bible and says, I prophesy over you. The ground is fertile or is fertile in Zambia for deception. And so this guy, Andrew Ajimadu, he began to, to, to embed his roots into the Zambian psyche. He started getting close to uh, men in authority, politicians. He became close to people in the police. He became close to civic leaders. He be and he was doing this in exchange for what he called prophecy and you know people being dull people being dense they believed it and so he found his he weaved his way into the power structure of zambia meaning all the key players he was connected to he knew them and and they paid homage to him and they regarded him as a pro, uh, as a prophet when in reality Andrew Ajimadu is a schemer, a child molester, a manipulator, a cult leader that does nothing but self-aggrandize. He does nothing but self-praise. He calls himself Jagaban. He calls himself the dawn of power. When we know that there is not one fiber, there is not one iota, there is not one smidgen, there is not one molecule of power in him. He has a glass jaw. He's a tiger with a glass jaw. He can't even roar. But here it is. He has convinced many of you that he's a tiger when really he's nothing but a pussycat. That's what he is. 
He's a harmless delinquent. And this is the man that many of you have placed in, in such high regard that he wields and, and he convinces you of things that are plainly, clearly there to see. A despot, a cult leader. He's a modern day Rasputin. He's a con man. So here it is, you know, he came here, he did his thing. And, and finally, the authorities could see through his very thin veneer and only to discover that he was just a child molester. He would molest little girls in, the, in his church. And, and because he was very well known to the police, he, the police somehow shielded him, you know. Uh, parents would go to the police and complain my child's been molested my child's been abused by this seer nothing andrew ejimadu you call him seer one there is no, there is nothing singular about him he's not seer one he's seer nothing seer nothing goes to the police i mean the people go to the police but because he was so entrenched, because he had penetrated the power structure of this country, so much so that even the police shielded him. Finally, finally, Ministry of uh, uh, Home Affairs ejected Andrew Ejimadu. I mean, the, 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 Andrew's presence in Zambia is replete with scandal after scandal after scandal. There's a Zambia National Service man over there in the Copper Belt. The Kapopos that were swindled by Andrew Ejimadu. He convinced them. He convinced this man to give him his pension money as a seed into his ministry. Ejimadu told this ZNS retired man, if you give me your millions, I will turn them into billions. Well, Andrew Ejimadu took that money, took off went to south africa that family today is still crying over, over that incident history is replete with examples like that there's so many examples like that but because he has used a platform that has sort of detracted you from seeing him for what he really is he's dangling a carrot in front of you when really the character of who he is is so demonic it is so putrid it is so detrimental it is so rancorous that he has managed to deceive you into not paying attention to the filth of his character and he's dangling a political carrot in front of you he's talking about things that are irrelevant He's talking about things that the opposition already talk about. I get amused when I hear many of you say, no, but he's telling the truth. What truth is he saying? When you say, no, but he's telling the truth. What truth? What truth is he saying that the Zambian opposition leaders aren't already saying? There's Jishimbakambwidi there. He says, he says that truth according to you. Shishimba Kambwili rails against the current administration. There's so many opposition leaders that play the role of opposition political leaders in this nation that rightfully take their place as opposition leaders. But here it is, you've allowed a mystic, you've allowed a sangoma, you've allowed a witch doctor, you've allowed a demon You've allowed a despot to lead the narrative and convince you that he's saying the truth? Wake up, Zambia. The problem with you, Zambia, is that you're too dwanzi. That's what the problem is. And he sees right through you, and he takes advantage of that. So here it is. You know, the, the Ministry of Home Affairs, they deported the, 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 the despot, took him back to Nigeria, took him back to his country where he belongs, okay? If he wants to talk about opposition politics, he should concentrate upon, he should concentrate on the debauchery that's going on over there in Nigeria. He should concentrate on the corruption in Nigeria. 
He should concentrate on the failed state of Nigeria. He should concentrate on the issues surrounding the Nigerian people. But oh no, this idiot focuses on Zambia. Why? Because he sees the kink in the armor. He sees the cracks. He sees the crevices. He sees the vulnerability. He sees your gullibleness. Zambia. Be careful who you welcome and who you embrace. You Zambians, be careful who you welcome and who you embrace. Not everyone should be, the red carpet shouldn't be rolled out to everybody. I was amused yesterday. There's this man, his name is Christopher Orgy. He calls himself Weissman Daniel. He's a product of that TB Joshua. He comes in here. You've got a bunch of young Zambians gathered at the airport. Half of those kids don't even know who this guy is. They don't know his ministry. They don't know his philosophy. They don't know the, the gospel he preaches. They don't know any of that. But there they are, young people with horns and trumpets and they're there welcoming him at the airport like he's some type of God, like he's some type of Christ. What? Be careful who you welcome. Be careful who you embrace. You've got these Nigerian prophets. All they do is they have a word of prophecy for Zambia. Negroes, you've got your own country to have prophecies over. That's what you need to do. That's what you jokers need to do. Every single one of you that come to this country under the banner, under the guise, under the, 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 the camouflage of prophecy, you've got your own countries that you need to focus on. Leave this nation alone. We've got our own men of God that oversee the affairs of this nation. We don't need a false Nigerian prophet coming over here telling us what's good for us. How dare you think that Nigeria can give us what we can give for ourselves? So what basically what I'm saying is that be careful with who you embrace. Be, be careful. Countries should be careful with who they embrace. So now Andrew has declared war on the UPND. Andrew says that he controls more than 90% of the social media space in Zambia. My brothers and sisters, nothing could be further from the truth. That is a bold-faced lie. That is an exaggeration. That doesn't even gel. It doesn't even compute. You see, this is the mark of a cult leader. This is a mark of a despot. They make these broad claims. They paint in broad strokes. I control 90% of the social media space. Oh, really? Show me the numbers on that. Show me the calculated numbers on that. You know, there's an old saying, what you can measure, you can control. You can't measure things just by declaration. It's a scientific art. It's scientific. So if, if you just wake up and say, no, in I control 90% of the social media space. Oh, really? Show us that. Where is the proof of that? Well, just because you say it from your mouth, it doesn't mean it's true. But here's the sad thing about this. Because he says it, many of you, you just take it. You accept it. Oh, church in Andrew, in 90% of the so nonsense, rubbish, hogwash. There's no such thing. The only social media space he controls is his own page that's it nothing more don't believe these idiots don't and guys let me explain something to you and i've been saying this since even during the npf i used to say this it is up to the zambian people it is up to you it's up to me the destiny of this nation lies in our hands, the hands of the voter, the hands of the electorate. We decide 
You and I decide, not some foreign false prophet from Nigeria that claims that he has a word from God, that claims that he's a prophet and he speaks over the affairs of our nation. No, 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 no. That is absolute hogwash. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you, the fate of this nation lies in our hands. The voter, the Zambian citizen who has a heart for this nation and whose heart palpitates and beats for this country. Not these jokers. I mean, Andrew Ejimado. Child molesters, bottom feeders, despots, bloodthirsty cardinal, bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty creatures. If there is indeed, indeed a change of administration, it will, be it will be because the Zambian people will it into existence. Are you hearing that? My dear brothers and sisters, if there is a regime change, if there's a change of administration, it will be because the Zambian people wake up and they decide on a different course of action. We decide. You and me. Not Andrew Ejimado. All right. Thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> All right, a few comments here. That's what is ironic about him. Even earlier this year, when they when they had elections in Nigeria, he never opened his mouth to talk about who he was going, who was going to win, or how things were going to be in his country. But he sees it fit to talk about Zambia. Yes, there's Nigeria. Nigeria, with all of its oil, with all of its vaunted knowledge, some of the smartest people in the world, some of the most cunning people in the world are from Nigeria. What does Andrew Ajimadu do? He chooses to talk about us when he's got a country full of craziness. He's got enough content there to speak about between now and kingdom come. But he takes advantage of Zambians because he knows You think a Zambian can go to Nigeria and do that nonsense Andrew Ejimadu does here? Which Zambian can go to Nigeria and talk about the affairs of that country on a large scale? Not a single Zambian can do that. But you Zambians, you allow this Nigerian to come here and speak about the affairs of our nation. How dare you? How dare you? Hmm? Demonic. He's demonic. Demonic. Why this battle? Will it bring... Oh. Hmm? Seer Zero. He's nothing. Don't make him into something that he's not. Don't create a god out of him. He's not. He bleeds. He, he's a child molester. That's all he is. And you guys put him on a pedestal and you allow him to speak into the affairs of your nation when we've got so many opposition leaders so many zambian opposition leaders yes they're opposition leaders but at least they speak on the other side of the aisle <laughs> zambians nigeria when the, those nigerians are sitting at tables yeah, those Zambians, they're poor. Can a Zambian come to Nigeria and speak on a big platform to the whole Nigeria? And the whole Nigeria is there. <sighs> where? Where have you seen it? Only here in Zambia, where you see these Nigerians. Ngabaisa kuno, fiaisa, mwabachitina na red carpet. Eh? Mwretu fia, mwabaisa. 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 You're so dwanzy. 
You need to wake up, and that's why you need gatekeepers, you 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 idiots. You need gatekeepers. You need somebody to wake wake you up and shake you into reality. Be careful who you embrace. Be careful who you open up the door to. Be careful who you give visas to. You can't give visas to anybody that says and names the name of God and calls himself Weissman and you roll out the red carpet just because he's Nigerian and just because he says he's got a word for Zambia. Nonsense. We've got men of God here that speak over the affairs of this nation. God give us preachers that will preach hell hot, heaven pure. God give us preachers that will bombard the gates of glory. God give us preachers that are hell, that, are, that, are, that, are, that, that, that preach against the gates of hell. Not these chaps. All they do is prophecy, prophecy. Fire, 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 fire. That's all you know. That's all you know. Fire. Nonsense. Anyway. All right. That's what I had to say. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right. That's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.